Well, for sale signs are coming down, just not for the prices homeowners had hoped for. 19 of the 20 major cities tracked by Standard & Poor's show home prices drop for the second straight month. A second big hit after nearly half of those cities saw five months of increases in sales. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Yamada. Paula Okana has the week off. Well, here in the islands, realtors agree Hawaii's housing market has already hit rock bottom. In tonight's Project Economy, we talk with one expert who says home buyers have nowhere else to look but up. Here's KITV Force Jill Kuramoto. Just like most of the nation, Hawaii's housing market saw a decrease in home prices in October, but just a slight drop of around 5%, and that varies from island to island. What is definitely down? Inventory. I think we've gone through all the toxic stuff, you know, that all the, um, uh, you know, inventory that uh, people were forced to sell. Low inventory and a lack of construction makes for a seller's market. But it's the low interest rates that have realtors saying now is a good time to buy. It's a good time to buy a home, definitely, because the interest rates are down. You know, at three, you can get a 3.5% loan today, you know, 4%. She's when, 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 when was the last time we had that? But consumer confidence is what drives people to purchase a new home. And a big looming question is how many people are out of jobs here in Hawaii. So the question is, you know, what will happen to unemployment here? You know, are we going to start losing jobs? Are we going to stay stable? Are we going to increase in jobs? I think that's going to dictate which way the market's going to go. While we may be seeing a drop in gasoline prices at the pump, we'll be paying more for electricity and water in 2012, and that may scare people away from investing in a new home. A lot of people are going to get hit with increasing expenses, which is going to take away from their ability to buy. What that means for home prices in the coming months, experts say we'll have to wait and see. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. Now, the index shows home prices have fallen roughly 32 percent nationwide since the housing bubble burst five years ago and are back to 2003 levels.